Hello everyone and welcome back to Audit Rewind. I'm your host commentator. Here on this channel we react, criticize and commentate to audit best moments and highlights uploaded to the internet. Before we get started, you guys know the drill. Smash that subscribe button, absolutely obliterate that like button and let's get into it. Today's clip we have first from Career Killer Audits link will be down below in the description so basically career killer audits was in a police department parking lot i believe and he was doing an audit first amendment freedom of press fully protected activity and uh, he was met by some of these officers now at first it seemed like these officers had never even heard of the first amendment and perhaps they haven't i'm sure they have whether they chose to ignore it is well i guess some of our opinions but in this case we have to look here and see now this cop is about to get educated in the law by these two guys who are exercising that very first amendment take a look and let's do some reaction Is there a statute to back that up? Is the cat got your tongue? Is there a penal code that backs that up? No. Is yeah. there a signed document by the judge or your sheriff that legalizes that, that statement that, that you made? There's no, there isn't. There's a sign that says employee parking, correct? Right. Does it say that, uh, does it say authorized personnel? You look like you're a seen a ghost. That answers my question. Get in your car, save yourself the embarrassment. Get out of here. That's it. No, that's yeah, not it, how it, it works, is. It, well, it's going to work that way. I don't know what best facilitates your happiness. I'm, actually, I know what you're doing, and yeah. I know So you know what operate. I'm doing, I and do. you still got out your car to ask for my license. Yeah. Do you see how, how you just made yourself look dumb? You know what I'm doing. Travis, answer that question. You know what I'm doing, but he got out his car to ask me for my license. But, but no, he knows I know what, what you're doing with the video. And, and how I'm going to do what was supposed to be done, and that's be quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, But my question I'm, is, since I... I I haven't been told to do anything. Okay. Am I feel still free to go since you told me to leave? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the sidewalk. Yeah, you can leave. I'm gonna. Am this I is what I'm gonna to? do. Huh? Am I, free to go? I haven't I'm heard him say you're detained. I'm, I'm David. Nice to meet you, brother. You're not. Do you have any more questions for me? You've expressed your interest to leave. This is how. I know. I'm not actually leaving. You're trying to make me leave. I'm not actually leaving. I just want to finish getting these pictures of this vehicle. Different things on it, and then I'm That doesn't require your help, but you chose to get out your car. Okay, go about your business. So why you get out your car then? Go about your business. Now you're getting upset. See, no, I'm not going to. That was your ego in that damn blue line. Now you're getting upset. No, I'm uh -huh. staying right here. Okay, okay. I'm fine. Okay. You're on the clock. Wasting our time. I'm staying all day. You got a problem. And I'm sure the mayor or your shit has been. I don't work for the mayor. Oh, you don't? I do not. You don't? I do not. Well, the sheriff wouldn't mind you just seeing it wasting that time. Okay. 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 Three other officers right. here that... Hang on, hang on. He's asking a question. I want to devote my Please taxpayer ahead. interest to him. Oh, yeah. um, you are surveilling the vehicles. There's no question about it. So currently this audit is going in a direction that isn't good. The auditors really can't do anything else here because the cops are trying to kind of throw them in a basket. And the basket is the suspicious basket. Claiming that these guys are trying to survey vehicles. Now, I don't know what that could be for in the cops' minds. Or perhaps they're trying to steal all the vehicles in this parking lot. Perhaps they plan to do something huge. Uh, it's really, really hard to believe some of these things the cops say in order to claim they have reasonable, articulable suspicion to do an ID stop. It genuinely is laughable, but at the same time worrying. Um... So, what do I think is going to happen next? I reckon that the cop's going to try and force an ID check. He's also possibly going to trespass them. I haven't seen this full video before, so that's just what I think is going to happen. But I might be wrong, and I hope I am. So, let's get into part two. Are we in public now? You like him here. Are we in public now? Yo, we only one second into part two and the we've already had some absolutely shocking events unfold. This auditor has posed a really important question to the officer saying, are we in public now? And the officer doesn't know how to answer. He looks like he's trying to do a Pythagorean calculation in his mind to figure out what the answer is. Ah, yes, the answer is the root of 4 squared, then divided by 10, and the answer equals perhaps it is or isn't. <laughs> 
I mean, all right, let's keep watching here. I don't want to interrupt too long because it's about to get spicy and I cannot wait to see. Are we in public now? You look like you don't see a couple of ghosts in this conversation, brother. Don't hey, stop. First of all, I'm not your brother. You are my brother. You are my brother. You are my brother. You're my family. I love you. You're my brother. I appreciate that. Thank you. Second of all, how you doing, partner? You're asking. Hey, uh, you're blocking this man. Wait, can you get out of the way? You're blocking this man way right here. You're impeding traffic, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Are you here with the Georgia traffic charges? Uh, no, obviously you're not, because you're parked right here. Okay, what, what are the five traffic charges that you can make on private property? Is it impeding? Oh, the it's private. It, it, it's just private? Yeah, Please city. put your foot. This is private. City property, it's yeah. city property. It's so, county property. It's county yes. property. So you're telling me county property is Last I checked, that private. classifies it as public. Hey, brother, how you doing? Uh, it's city and county property. Oh, property, private. It's tax funded, right? Pardon? It's city and, and county property tax funded. Which it, deems it public until you have a sign saying that personnel um, access on it. You've made yourself like a complete ass. Go over there, please. Okay. The guy on the right here has quite literally schooled this officer and he has dismissed him. In my eyes, he has just owned him. He's literally violated him. He's... <laughs> I think he's been stuttering. He's not been able to answer questions. Then he said a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense and contradicts himself. But now we're about to watch part two and it could get quite interesting because now we have three people here. And, well, in total we have five, obviously including the two auditors, but I'm on about the officers. I don't know if this is a supervisor, I'm guessing by the uniform he is uh, a supervisor. Um, he has the uh, shoulder, shoulder. Um, I don't know what they call them, in, uh, in uh, the UK I think we call them leatherettes or something. They're the things you strap onto the shoulder thingies. Uh, it basically shows that someone is a superintendent or a chief. Uh, I don't know if this guy is the chief, I'm probably not, but I might be wrong. So let's see what happens, because this is now starting at part three, where the auditor has asked this new officer who is present on the scene whether that property is private, taxpayer, or public. You've made yourself like a complete ass. Go over there, Okay. You, know, you can't complain about my language because I write my first amendment. Please get out of my face. First of all, get out my face. I'm not leaving. Get out of my face. No. How are you, Captain? Nice to meet you. TJ. I'll explain to you what's going on. We're, we're just out here. Um, we go from county to county in different states and stuff, and we look at the tent regulations on the police vehicles. And we notice that in this park a lot, there are probably about five or six different tent levels. Um, and we were just, that's what we were looking at when he came up and said we were surveilling the vehicles. We, we don't have any ill intent or anything. We're just simply looking at how each car almost has a different level of tent on it. That's all. And we tried to explain this to him, but uh, he wanted to get his ID and stuff, so they're in a debacle now. Okay, I, I just want you to know that. So you're going to stay where you are, or there's going to be a lot of car news on there, okay? Please don't touch me. Then you come across and you talk about me, you go and you talk about threatening and all that good stuff, um, which doesn't work with me because I know what you're doing. If you know what I'm doing, why are you still here? Because you can't answer my, that question. This is my parking lot. This, this is your parking lot. But, but you had every intention of leaving the parking lot until you saw me. So if you know what I'm doing, why'd you stop? See that? So I'm not talking in circles. You're talking in circles. I'm just repeating what you're telling me. And you're mad because I make you like an idiot out here. You said this I'm is your parking lot. lot. You are mad. This is the it. parking lot. You're mad. Your ego has allowed you to stand here 11 minutes longer than you wanted to. You had no intentions of coming out that building and talking to me. You, you, came, out, you came out your car, out that building, got in your car, and was leaving. See that, please leave? Well, but do you get my well, we're wasting stuff? both of our time. No, you're wasting tax dollars. Mr. Johnson, I got time to wait. Mr. Johnson, please. Yes, sir. You can wait, please. This is going to be the last time that we have this conversation. This area right here is a public area. It's owned and financed by the public, right? It's assigned to the sheriff's office. And this area right hey, brother, here you know? is designated for the parking for of official vehicles. So in and of itself, the fact that you're snooping around and looking at the vehicles raised my suspicion. So I stopped to find out what you were doing. I asked you for your ID and you chose not to, to give it to me. That was the end of the conversation. So there's no Fourth Amendment in that shit. I didn't try to seize you or any of your property. Now, now hush. I, oh, you want I'm not going to hush. I'm, okay, I'm going to let you I'm, continue to hang yourself. Okay. Go ahead. Because then I'm going to play back everything that you said after that. Go ahead. I just heard snooping. Snooping. After, brother, snooping. Snooping is. Snooping. Yeah, he is. 
Are you law enforcement? Like can I ask you a question? I won't get no. you on film, but can I ask you a question? No. You See, he, he's so embarrassed, he don't want to bring anybody else into this because he's so embarrassed. He's so scared of what his wife's going to say when he get home about how <laughs> dumb he look right now. He, he don't want you in this. But can I ask you a question? I promise I won't get you on film. I will not. He doesn't care if you're on film or not. But I'm going to respect him and not put him on film. You put yourself in this situation. So I only recently found out about these two guys. Um, career killer audits. But I have to say, they're one of my favorite because the fact that they are so witty, so quick and intelligent with their responses, it kind of disarms the officers and kind of makes them feel a bit confused how to respond because notice how they pressured them. They, they pressed them to respond quickly and the officer seems to contradict himself multiple times in this audit. He said that this was a private parking lot, then he went and said it's publicly accessible. Then he went on to say the auditors are surveying the vehicles for possible suspicious reasons. Well, they gave their reason to the captain who turned up, so that was actually the captain. Uh, he didn't seem to want anything to do with it. After Career Killer Rodex explained to him what they're doing, that they go from police department to police department across the country, testing the tint levels to see that there hasn't been, you know, violations or abuse of authority because of use of tints. But um, instead, he decided to just turn around and leave. Uh, and then this officer here that contradicted himself seemed to just be sick of the argument and decided to just dismiss all the other officers and just leave. <laughs> so yeah, in my eyes, this was a successful audit and it actually went really well. Hey, how's it going, man? So up next, we have a really controversial video and I believe the credits and the source was from Corners News. Uh, link will be down below in the description to this channel, but I really really wanted to feature this video and criticize it and add commentary because this is a video that really touched a lot of people's hearts and it gets very very heated. So this guy was pulled over for allegedly speeding by an officer. He was basically a routine traffic stop for reason being speeding. So he pulls over, he conforms and complies with the uh, blue lights and the sirens and he pulls over when it was safe to do so. While the officer comes up to his side of the window, he rolls his window down and he makes a great decision to uh, film the interaction. Now, he has his hands free, he's put the camera on the dashboard, I believe. I don't know if it's on a phone mount or something, or if he's like twi- or he's like twizzled around his dash cam. Some of them you can like bend round. But um, anyway, it all goes smoothly, it's all very respectable, until this officer asks for the ID of his daughter. I think this guy has a daughter in the back seat, and she's fairly young, but that's where this man draws the line. He decides that this officer doesn't need to know, the, his daughter's ID, but the officer claims that he needs to know the ID so he knows that the daughter is safe and hasn't like been missing or something. Well, this is very interesting. I, I thought you guys would enjoy it, so take a look. Hey, how's it going, man? GPS, you press stop, sir, what's your speed? Speed? Yes, sir. You have your driver license? Sure. Oh, how fast was that going? 75, sir. 75, really? Okay. Yeah. Is that an emergency, sir, or anything like that? Is that an emergency? Yeah. Where? No, I know I'm asking you. If you have an emergency right like that. Do I have an emergency? Can you verify with the tag? With the tag? Uh, yeah, I have it on, on my uh, email. On your email? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me check for I can check for you. Later. Okay. If, if, if you cannot verify it, I'll... Okay. Insurance? Yeah. Okay. It is insured, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. And the kids back here, the yours, sir? Uh, that's irrelevant to the stop, man. Uh, give me a chance. I'll be right back. You've, right. Never, you've never had a Texas driver license or anything? Like I, I, I don't answer questions, man. Yeah, but you, you ever I'm got your Texas driver license? I don't answer questions. Okay, give me a chance. I'll be right back. Alright, man. Driver, sir, Rincon. Estrada, Rincon, right? Yes, sir. Uh, the vehicle is under... Uh, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not your middle name or anything like that, right? No, 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 it's not. Okay. And do you have your social security number? Yes, I do. Alright. Alright, sir, could you write it there for me? What? The social security. Oh, no, no, I, I don't need to provide that information. 
You need to provide that information? I don't need to provide that information. Uh, okay. Man. Are you a U.S. citizen? I don't answer questions, man. Okay. Is this an immigration look, look, uh, checkpoint or? Resident or, or anything like that? You're like a resident? Is it like an immigration checkpoint or? No, I'm, I'm trying to check if immigration you have a driver license or identification. Because uh -huh. uh, you could also you know, be a resident and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, so I'm an immigration trying to identify stop? you because I'm looking at your card here. And that's why I'm inquiring about it. Okay. Because it, it is going to be a citation for speed, Okay, sir. go ahead and issue so the citation. We, we put as much information on there. Okay. So it could identify you. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Got it. Give me a chance. I'll be right back. Sir, how old are your kids? I want to answer you questions. You said your kids, right? I want to answer questions. Okay. That's irrelevant to the stop, man. No, it's because safety seats are important. Okay. For crashes. Okay. You, know, you might not agree with me, but I'm, I'm, you know, it's for public safety, sir. Okay. If you get in a crash, kids might be injured. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Looks too young? Yeah, too, uh, uh, for a safety, uh, you know, she needs a, uh, safety seat. Okay. All right. And I know you don't want to identify your child or uh, if she's your child, okay. Do they That's need fine. identification? So or? for that, my, I'm sorry? Do they need identification or? Uh, who? The, the children? The, um, no, well, I'm, I was asking you, I wasn't asking for identification. All right. Uh, so it's gonna be a citation also for the, the child's uh, safety, all right? Okay. What? Wait, you guys, this is genuinely insane. The, the, <laughs> the officer's just given this guy a citation for speeding which is totally understandable if he was speeding and they've also given him a citation for not identifying his daughter what wait am i am i mishearing something here the officer literally said because you're not identifying her for safety reasons like genuinely if they were that worried and has reasonable suspicion that this guy's like literally like taken her or something and is some criminal that abducts people then wouldn't he, wouldn't the officer just literally force an identification check? Instead, he's like, yeah, we're worried for her safety, so we're going to fine you because of it. Like, what? That's like saying, yeah, you, um, you might have killed this person, so we're just going to fine you for it, and then we'll let you go on your way. <laughs> it's actually money-making, guys. I, I find this laughable, but it's all just my opinion, obviously, but... I'd be interested to hear what you guys think of this particular video. It's quite unique and I've never featured something like this in my life. Um, really, I couldn't... In terms of criticism, I think I couldn't really criticize how the guy handled this. He was relaxed and very respectful. He didn't raise his voice once. I think maybe the best thing to do, though, would be obviously to identify your daughter if you don't want a citation. However, I don't think you are required to do that. So if you want to stay within your rights and you can afford the citation, then go ahead and stand firm. But, you know, it's crazy, guys. Times we live in. Anyway, on to the next one. Go check out this channel, though. Link down below. Up next, we have a video by PNWT, an auditor who I've been watching now for about a week or two. And I have to say that this is something that is, again, unique to this channel in the sense that it's not an audit from the beginning. This video intended out as a guy who is actually asking questions at this particular public place. So he, basically, this place have a bunch of information laid out in public in plain view. And it's actually private information, according to this auditor. It has people's names, addresses, date of birth, social security number. And this guy went in to prove a point and took a bunch of pictures of all of it and then tried to contact the manager saying, why is there all these people's private info out in the open in plain view? In which they replied, yeah, you probably need to get out. And they called the cops on him. So this is a very interesting video. The cops arrive and it's a very difficult situation for them because mm, you, just watch this. It's very, very interesting. How's it going? Hey, so my name is Sergeant Parker I'm with the Lacey Police Department. How you so doing? I just have to let you know that you are being audio and video recorded. So are you. Uh, so um, you're having business here with the utilities folks. You got some business mean? to conduct. Well, yeah. Okay, so I got called, I guess, because you, I guess you were a little upset by something. I don't know why you were called. You should go talk to them. Well, that's that's my next stop. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see. Like, I mean, you're you're the customer, so I'm trying to see if they were saying. I didn't that. need any help okay. until a few minutes ago, and then I was refused help. Okay. And then when I tried to ask someone else for help, I was directed to someone else again. Okay. 
So you're just a little bit upset about it. I'm not upset. Bounce around, but well, I mean, like, I'm not upset at all. Not, not upset in the sense like angry, but you know what I mean. Frustrated about getting bounced around uh, to different no. people. Is that what? It, no, I'm not frustrated. I just wanted to talk to her supervisor and just ask him a question. Okay. That was right. it. Well, let me check in with them. But um, I have I no I can... no idea why they're so okay. scared of a camera. Well, because it, you're, I mean, when you're videoing in here and everything like that, it just causes a little bit of alarm, right? Cause it's well, that's normal. that's about my question that I want with her supervisor. I think she what's said that? Lou, something like that. What what the, what's the question? Well, I'll talk to him about that. Okay. <laughs> Any reason that you don't want to like fill me in on that? Uh, you really don't need to know. <laughs> well, the reason I'm here is for conflict resolution. Is is basically. <laughs> the so. Okay, where's the conflict? That's what I'm trying to determine, but, but you haven't not, figured not, out there's no conflict here okay. yet. Well, let me go talk to them. So I'll just talk to them and then, and then I'll come and get in and get some information from you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. What right. was your badge number, Parker? What's that? Parker and your badge number? Number 10. 10. Well, after all this, the officer is now going to find some more information. Seeing as he just walked into the building, he has actually had the first uh, point of contact with this auditor, which actually makes for a change. Very interesting. Usually the officers go in and go straight to the managers or the people who work there, the employees, which I think is quite biased because then they only get one point of view first and they usually always believe that one over the guy holding a camera. In this case though, Officer Parker has done the opposite and actually gone and listened to this auditor's point of view. Whether he took it into consideration is a whole nother story. Uh, that's all up to you guys to make your opinions, but now we're about to watch part two. Officer Parker is about to get the employee side of the story as to what's going on. And I'm guessing he's going to come back and do the whole, here's the deal. <laughs> the famous quote we all know, here's the deal, bro. So let's see what happens next. Hey, at least you had a short walk to get here. Oh, yeah. All right. So if you don't mind, I'm going to sit right here. I'm Have at it, man. Huh? Over you so, you can have thought. so here, here's where we're at, right? And, and um, so I guess they were a little concerned because um, they didn't want their picture taken, right, for one. It's irrelevant. I'm, I'm just, ju just laying it out to you. They I'm just. Their picture taken, okay. okay? Um, they were willing to answer any questions you had, and then I guess you had the supervisor at one point up here, the lady was there, um, and they were asking you, because the signs say to stay back, because they don't want people all crowding up on the on the glass, right? When somebody's doing business, they want the other person to take them back, and I guess you were coming up there, and, I, and, I'm, not, and I'm not here to dispute any of that stuff, but I'm just saying that that's the reason why um, they were like, hey, you know. And that's exactly the reason why I need to speak to their manager. Okay, and you got to understand that. That is another level in the city, and he is not available. That's the finance manager for the entire city. Okay. And so that's not going to happen today. So you've already talked to uh, one of the managers here, one of the supervisors here, and her, her boss. Um, if you have a question, there's the Lacey 311 where you can. They're not going to answer my question. So they've already tried to attempt to answer your question. And you didn't want to give them your question. The really? other option is you can give me your question and I can get an answer for you. Yeah, okay. you can't answer it. It's more for uh, for who's in charge. My point well, is, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down for you. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I took probably two dozen, three dozen pictures mm -hmm. of everyone's information, everyone's social security numbers, everyone's addresses everyone's deed permit numbers, everything. Mm -hmm. But 20, 30, I, I'll have to count them. Okay. I want to talk to her boss about why she leaves these nice taxpaying people's information out for someone to record and take pictures of. And I'm going to go back to this, and that is the reason why I'm here. Okay. It's because when they have the rules here to stay yeah. back because of people's private Their rules don't listen, apply to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. They don't well, apply me, to me. Well, let me go ahead and explain to you. Okay. Okay. Which is funded by taxpayers. Okay. I'm not going to get into You're that. You're a peace listen, officer. Listen, I'm not going to get into that debate. I know you don't so want to. What I'm going to... No, I do not want to. Because so you'll What lose. I'm going to explain to you, though, is 
is I'm gonna try to get a piece of paper. I'm gonna write his name down. I'm Thank you. His, I'm Why was that so hard? Why is it so hard for you to not to write it down yourself? <laughs> I don't get it. So that they was torn. This works. I both am ways, a. Yeah? You know, Private this, okay. citizen. This works both ways. Signed up for it. Yeah, and that's why I'm trying to help you. Yeah, well, I just so here I'm gonna. Help well, hopefully you. next time you'll I, be a little nicer. No, I'm gonna, I've, I've been nothing but nice. I've been okay. great. Still gonna sit here and film and do your thing, or you you got what you need. What does it matter? Because I'm gonna explain to you what's gonna happen if you go back up to the counter and you're recording them and stuff. <laughs> okay, tell me what's gonna happen. I want to hear it. Well, I'm just I'm just providing providing more. So. If you're if you are disrupting what they're doing in their business, if you're disrupting their business, we're gonna obviously come back and talk to you. And at that point, we're gonna ask you to leave. Okay. And so, leave a public building. Yes. Yeah. Without committing a crime. Okay. You, the crime is disorderly conduct. So if I'm, I'm not disorderly you, though, to you, how could I be punished if I'm, I'm quiet? I'm not going to explain it to you. If I'm quiet, I'm going to come back. And I don't make bother calls. anyone. I'm just tell you. See, this is where listen, I'm, I'm talking. You should listen. Okay. No, this is where I'm talking because I'm going to oh. tell you. Don't go back up to the counter unless they call you up to the counter. Uh, well, I don't know what to call you. Uh, sir. Sir. Okay. Well, sir, this is uh, Officer Cecil. Cecil. And Officer Rosas. Rosas. So they're going to um, they're going to talk to you from here. Okay. So I just wanted to um, talk. What do I need to talk about? Well, anything that you need assistance with, they want to no. provide you with assistance. Okay. No. We're, we're happy to help you. Nothing. Time. You guys want to go to lunch? I'm good. I already Come on. To I'm sure we could talk and share a lot of story. Just no directives. Do Don't do directives. Yeah. Just say, "Have a nice day, sir." It was nice to meet you. Okay. Well, I still gotta give you the. No, rundown. no, you don't. You yes, do not. I do. No, you don't. Come on, I gotta do my job. It is an intimidation. It's the last word. Well, I'm how, in charge. How is it an intimidation? Because you have to give an order before you walk away. What'd you say? No, see, it doesn't come across as advice, though. It comes across. What's a better way so it comes across better as advice for you? Directives? See? Okay. Those are directives. That's not an directive. Really? I don't think so. Okay, go back to work, brush your hair, check your battery on that. Okay. Now make sure you put your gun away, okay? And when you cross the street, the cars are going really fast. So be careful. Make sure it's in the sidewalk. Okay. okay. Don't talk on the phone when you're driving home. That's good advice. Do I feel, you feel like I'm just being a d Yeah. Okay. That's how we feel when you guys do it. And that's not... I feel like Officer Parker was getting a bit stressed out and having a short temper with this auditor. So he decided to call up these two lady cops and have them <laughs> assist, assist the auditor. What the, what the hell is that even supposed to mean? I have no idea. Um, oh, if you need any help, just ask them. Well, as soon as Parker left, they just started doing the usual, here's the deal, here's the deal, here's the deal. <laughs> and after all this, it didn't really end how I thought it would end. Uh, after all this, the guy didn't get his question answered. It's probably a question that no one wants to answer, seeing as they tried to get the police to kick him out, in my opinion, because he was filming. I think initially the real reason they were going to kick him out or wanted the cops there was because of the camera. Like, let's be real here. Was it because he was asking the question over and over? Probably not. Most people would usually just turn around and leave. But the fact this guy got a camera out and started documenting things and, you know, he was all about accountability and transparency probably triggered the employees into calling the cops. So, overall, I'm a bit neutral on this uh, audit because I still don't know really what the details are. Um... But anyway, go check out this auditor, show them some support. Uh, and unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay well. Peace out.